In the Factor follow-up segment tonight, is President Obama feeling left out? A few weeks ago, White House spokesman Robert Gibbs lashed out at, quote, the professional left. And ever since, the liberal pundits have ratcheted up their attacks on the Obama administration. Even liberal late-night guy David Letterman is making fun of the commander-in-chief. You know who else is on vacation? Uh, President Barack Obama. And this is his, uh, since he's been in office, this is his sixth vacation. Yep, yep, he'll have plenty of time for vacations when his one term is up. <laughs> he'll have plenty of time. If that's not bad enough, some elected Democrats are now running from Obama and from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Too many people in Congress just vote the party line. But Jason Altmaier, he's not like that. Jason's independent, no doubt about it. You saw it when he voted against health care. And when Jason opposed the Wall Street bailout. I like that Jason Altmaier is not afraid to stand up to the president. And Nancy Pelosi. Bobby Bright is the most independent member of Congress. Bobby voted against the bailouts, against stimulus spending, against the massive government health care. And Bobby voted against the trillion-dollar federal budget. We can't afford it, and I'm not going to support it. Bobby Bright is an independent conservative. Joining us from L.A. is Fox News contributor and radio star, Leslie Marshall. Hey, Leslie. <laughs> hey, Laura. How are you? Um, great, great to see you. Uh, what, does, that, does this concern you? Uh, you know, the Letterman thing is just kind of a yuck. But uh, what about these Democrats like Altmaier, who uh, admittedly is, is kind of a blue dog? Uh, but today, I think we had a Democrat out there saying maybe it's time for Tim Geithner to go. Uh, is this getting a little bit too hot inside the left for Obama? No, this is called we're about 70 days away from an election. The president's poll ratings are down. We saw this when Bush's ratings were down. Left or right, politicians like to keep their jobs, or as we call them, careers. And uh, they basically say what their constituents want to hear. We see that on the right with the split between uh, right, middle, and left uh, Republicans, the Tea Party. We see that on the left with the uh, Hillary Democrats, the Obama Democrats, the I'm sort of an independent, uh, independent I don't love Obama today Democrat. No big surprise. Politics is Usual. Do you think what President Obama is doing is working? So let's start with the economy. Do you think it's working? I think, even though I'm one of the most impatient people on the planet and a pessimist at heart, that we haven't given it enough time. I jokingly say, and Laura, I know you can relate to this, it took me 10 months to have a baby and two years to lose the weight. It <laughs> took us a long time. It took us a long time to get here, and it's going to take us some time to get out. I, I, he, you know, first of all, Obama's not running in November, and I think a lot of Americans are confused by that, even on the left. Uh, certainly, uh, we will see some changes on both uh, sides of the aisle, in the House and the Senate. But, but this is historically what happens in our nation politically, and we're very impatient. But on the, on the stimulus specifically, talk about that, because we did hear from the administration pretty strongly that the stimulus would create, I think in the end it would be about 3.5 million new jobs, that we needed that to really get the economy going. And obviously the return on the stimulus has been abysmal. The GAO report that came out this week, I think it's $195,000 spent so far per job created. And now they're calling it not jobs saved or created, but lives touched in some Washington uh, speak, which I, I guess our, our lives have all been touched by the stimulus in one way or another. So I guess we've all, we can be 300 million people. Uh, but, but is that working? Is the stim can you say we just need more time for the stimulus? Because it was supposed to have already kicked in by now. Well, again, this certainly, uh, no question, is taking longer than we thought. I know this is going to sound crazy. The other day, I was checking my credit card statement, and they increased my credit limit without telling me or asking me instead of decrease. So I know the economy's turned a corner <laughs> just for that alone. But when we look at the jobs and when we look at the stimulus, we haven't given it long enough. Even the White House says, look, this is taking longer than we thought. The president all along said this is going to be a few steps forward, a step back, a few steps forward, a step back, and that's what we're saying. Leslie, if we're where we are now in its 2011, end of 2011, starting in the 2012 election, what do you see for the Democrats? What do you see for this president? Are you talking about 2012 uh, yeah. or are you talking about November? 2012. 2012. <laughs> I, I, don't think he, I don't think he's going to be a one-term president. I know a lot of people like to do comparisons to Carter. We're in a very different time. And uh, this, th this man is very intelligent, has a lot of people on his team. Uh, Warren Buffett's uh, a guy that picks up the phone and advises him, and he hasn't done too bad financially. And like Warren Buffett himself said, if you said to me, uh, I want you to invest, and you're going to win most of the time, but you're going to have some really tough hits for a couple of years, 
years, he goes, I would still take the risk. And that's what we are in America doing. We also have to look at what the perception by the voters is as opposed to the reality. Even if you have numbers that show that unemployment has gone down, until Americans feel it in their own lives, it becomes a very personal thing, and they feel richer, and they and they feel employed, well, unemployment and, they, hasn't and they don't gone feel down, like though. they're being foreclosed Unemployment upon. hasn't gone down, Leslie. Unemployment no, hasn't I know, gone but it, 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 no, 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 no. When it does, and it will, I believe that, when it does, the Americans have to feel it, because we have turned a corner. We're not in a recession, but many Americans still feel they're in a recession if they're not working, if they've lost their homes, etc. Why do you think that men and young people and even Latinos have fled Obama in their support? I mean, when you look pretty much across the board, maybe with the exception of the African American vote, group after group, demo after demo, is peeling away from President Obama. You think it's just impatience on that one issue of the economy? Or do you think? And this is what I think, is that there's an overall perception that he is just out of step with what people want. And, and they, they want an economy that's growing. They want prosperity. They want wealth creation in this country. They want to be safe. They want the borders enforced. And yet, you know, they're doing all this stuff like health care reform that now 56 percent of the country wants repealed. But remember, at the time, Laura, the majority of the country wanted health care reform with a public option. So that's a whole separate issue. And speaking of that, that's what it comes down to. Uh, the separate issues within those groups and not just impatience, but maybe for the Latino men, it's immigration reform is not happening, happening fast enough. Right. This is one man. The president doesn't control everything that happens in this country alone. Wait, I thought the he just happens were to be part. the guy that gets blamed for it. I thought the sun was going to okay. come out. There's going to be rainbows everywhere to wear and candy on, this, uh, hey. on the trees falling. Oh, come on. I thought it was all going to change. Leslie, we appreciate it. Well, Thanks a lot. <laughs>